Eyes, Limburgs, EES, is a village in South Limburg in the Netherlands. The village is located in the Iserbeek Dal, the Brook Valley of the Iserbeek, Brook. Ees is one of the ten church villages of the municipality of Gulpenwittem and has 1,680 inhabitants, including the outskirts and associated neighborhoods and hamlets over 2,000. The first official mention of Ees, then Hansen, is in a certificate of the St. Paulus Capitel in Loic from 1,193. The oldest part of the village is around today's St. Agatha Church. The Baroque Church is the second that is had, the older Agatha Church existed at the Borenberg in the 12th century and was rebuilt in 1712. Thirty years later, commissioned by Ferdinand von Plettenberg, the then Count of the Widom Rijksgrafschap which belonged to a part of Eisbomeister J. C. Schlon and replaced the old one. In the same period, Schlon was also responsible for the construction of the Widom Monastery. The Baroque style in which both structures are built is relatively little to be found in the region, it is characterized by the UI-shaped spears. The hill where the St. Agatha Church has been located was a mothy oval where Eyes Castle stood. There is a vineyard next to this moth huvel. Wine production has an age-old history in Eyes, which goes back to 1125. Ritter Arnold, the brother of the then noble Lady of Eyes was paid for his services in Eyes with Eiser wine. In addition, in 1558, the Sinise registers of Eyes state that the distant successor to this Arnold, the Borg Graf van Eyes, must pay taxes to the then Lord of Streithagen of Eyes. This Borg Graf then also lived Optuis in Eyes. Optuis is in 1558 the usual name for the house that was elevated on the Borenberg, the place behind the Church of Eyes. It is worth mentioning that the same Sinis registers report that Eyes had a winery at the time. This winery previously had the function of beer brewery, Panhuis. The wine from Eyes was apparently a local product that could compete with the local beer in terms of quality. Nowadays Eyes has one more wine producer, Aldenborg Domain. The special thing about the Aldenborg Domain is that the only Limburg organic wine is produced on the unique Eiser mix of Kuhn Raider Stain and Gulpener Chalk. Eyes has been administratively connected to Widom since the emergence of the municipality, after the French Revolution at the end of the 18th century, which merged into the new municipality of Gulpenwittem in 1999.
Wittem, Limburgs, Wittem, is a neighborhood in the Dutch Limburg municipality of Gulp and Wittem. Together with the nearby hamlet, the neighborhood is the Kirkdorp party Wittem. The name Wittem is officially mentioned in a deed from 1125 as Wittem, from the Germanic Hita, Wit plus Hama, Hoke, higher country that jumped out in flooding area. The territory was elevated to a free government in 1520 and in 1732 to Graf's Chap. It remained this until the intake by the French Republic at the end of the 18th century. On this territory there were already the 13th century castle and the residential core party. The current Redemptorist monastery was built between 1729 and 1733. After the French period, the new municipality of Widham, with the Nice Willer party and Wall Willer corps from the start. Since the middle of the 18th century, a postal house, a stopping place for post carriages, where the horses, crew and travelers could eat, drink and rest and where travelers could get bored, and where cargo and horses could be changed. Between 1922 and 1938 there was a stop of the Maastricht Vals tram line. The Redemptorist Monastery Widom fulfills a function as a regional pilgrimage site, St. Gerardus Magella. The monastery is diagonally opposite Widom and was built between 1729 and 1733 to a design by the well-known Westphalian architect Johann Conrad Schlon. Of the original monastery, only a part of the Baroque monastery church has been preserved. The current monastery was built around 1894 to a design by architect Johannes Kaiser. Special is the vaulted, neo-Gothic library with three galleries placed one above the other, which are connected to each other by spindle stairs. This monumental library, which also has beautiful acoustics, was reused as a cultural center after a few years in 2001. There are regular concerts, lectures, and exhibitions, including the annual festival Kunstdagen Widem in September, created in 1986 in Epen, since 2001 in Widem. In 1938 the monastery was enlarged to a design by Joss Wilders and in 1961 the Gerardus Chapel was added on the north side. The history of Widom Castle goes back to the 12th century. Around 1220 it was expanded and it got a tower. In the 14th century, the castle was inhabited by Jan van Kosselaer, Lord of Widom, who received Mechelen in his jurisdiction after the Hertogen of Limburg were extinct. Van Korzeller has further expanded the castle. After much war damage, the castle was rebuilt around 1800 by Simon Merkelbuck and especially his son Jan Mathies. Until 2010, the castle was owned by Mark and Peter Ritson who had a hotel restaurant there for almost 40 years. From 1977 to 1989 the restaurant Widom Castle had a Michelin star.
Gulpin, Limburgs, Gullopy, Franz, Gallop, is a Dutch place in the South Limburg Hills with 3,970 inhabitants, 2021. It is the capital of the municipality of Gulpenwittem. The entire municipality of Gulpenwittem has nearly 15,000 inhabitants. The village is located at the confluence of the Jail and the Gulp, at an altitude of approximately 95 meters. The core is on the south side against the Gulperberg, 157 meters. The mountain is a spur of the Krapoel Plateau that ends steeply here. From the southwest, the Gulp Dal flows into the Jail Dal. Further south lie a few forests on the slopes of the plateau, the Dunnenbos, the Wagelerbos, and behind it the Schweibergerbos. In the west there is Ospice on a slope. The north side of the village was built on the southern slope of the Beaversburg, which is located on the Dalsberg, 161 meters. In the vicinity of Gulpen are the neighborhoods of Ingber, Evram, Cardels, and Bergham. Surrounding villages are Wilra, Whittam, Margreton and Remerstoke. Gulpen originated in the early Middle Ages near the place where the Gulp flows into the Jail. In the early Middle Ages, a moth castle was built just north of the current village centre on one hill cut off from the Dalsberg, the so-called Grachtberg Graf. Around 1288 this castle was abandoned and the residents moved into the Neuenberg, the later Neuborg Castle. At the end of the 13th century, Gulpen became an independent glory in the land of S. Hertogen Raid. The Partage Tractate of 1661 determined that Gulpen started to belong to the state part of S. Hertogen Raid, usually referred to as Staatsovermaß. That also meant that the Protestants were given equal rights as the Catholics. The parish church had to be shared by both denominations as a simultaneous church. Only in 1837 did the Protestants got their own church, the Leopoldskirche. In the 18th century, Count Ferdinand Adolf van Plettenberg bought Gulpen. His successor had to sell it again due to financial problems in 1769. During this period, members of the Maastricht magistrate were family of slave scout van de Hoof Bank Gulpen. The presence of a lot of water caused the activities of tanners, beer brewers, and trout growers. The Gulpener Beer Brewery was created in 1825. Around the same year, the Rijkswag from Maastricht to Aachen was constructed. As a result, the village centre shifted somewhat in a southerly direction. A chocolate factory was opened in 1924, under the name, Itjildal. This mainly made rum beans. In 1982 the municipality of Gulpen was expanded with the core of the municipality of Wolra. Until 1999, Gulpen, together with a number of other cores, formed the municipality of Gulpen of the same name. Since the aforementioned year, this municipality has been merged with the former municipality of Whittam into the merged municipality of Gulpen Whittam.
Hallo, bedankt voor het kijken naar deze productie van JN Productions. Ik hoop dat u ervan heeft genoten. U kunt abonneren door op de logo in de rechter benedenhoek te klikken. Alvast van harte bedankt en tot ziens.